dog summer safety tips. Uh, this video shows my Airedale Terriers, and these are the larger Airedale Terriers, also known as Mountain Airedales, but these tips apply to almost any dog that I can think of. So, here in San Diego, California, it does get kind of warm in the summer. Uh, not like being in Arizona or anything like that, but hey, it can hit 100 on some days. So the most important thing, as you can see from this sign over here where a dog died, uh, you want to take your dogs hiking if you do or for exercise to the park, but you want to do it either early in the day, and I'm talking about very early, or late in the day as the sun is going down. My favorite hiking spot is a, uh, is a mountain. It's not that high, but I come up the east side of the mountain late in the day, let's say start around 6 o'clock or 6.30, as the sun is setting on the other side on the west side. So it's always in shade when I'm coming up there. And the most important thing you can think of when doing this is I always carry water for the dogs. And the other thing to keep in mind, if your dog hesitates, the dog is always going to try and go with you. But sometimes my larger Airedale, he'll stop. And when he stops, I know he's had it. He wants to rest. I let him rest. I give him some water. And then we continue on. And usually that's back home. So keep that in mind. Also, I do give them a trim here. The beginning pictures here, you saw the two dogs with their winter or bear coats on. And for the summer, I shave them. But I don't shave them super close because what a lot of people don't realize is most dogs' fur and coat, and on the Airedale it's called wire hair, not fur, uh, has an insulating factor. So if you're trimming them or you're bringing to a, a trimmer, um, a groomer, you don't want to cut them way too short. Just shorten it from the big, long winter coat. Okay, now we're going to go on to the second most important tip and pretty much applies almost anywhere in the United States, but especially here in the Western states. And when I take my dogs almost any time of the year, I try to walk them in the center of the trail. Why? Hey, there's a lot of rattlesnakes here, and most of the time they're on the sides of the trail. Occasionally, hey, like this, you'll see one crossing the road. Okay, but most of the time they're in the bushes right on the side. So be very careful. When you're walking, I always scan ahead on the side. The dogs like to go to the side and do their business and stuff. So keep an eye out for that. Okay, the third and final tip here, and I know these are all common sense, but keep them in mind because there are a lot of people around who have no common sense. And I mentioned this just a little while ago. Anytime I'm out in the summer with the dogs, I always carry a water bottle. Not for me, but for the dogs. And uh, depending on where we're hiking, we'll always stop and I give the dogs water. I found out the bottle with the little squirt top on it that you can open and close, they like the best. So keep that in mind, and Airedales for some reason seem to like a lot of water, so I have a pretty good sized bottle. It's thin though, and fits right inside of my hiking shorts. If you're a fan of Airedale Terriers, be sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of our future videos. Also, check out our very popular Airedale Terrier blog where you always find great videos and articles that can help you with your Airedale. Thanks for watching.